let's take a look at this apple watch quite simple packaging this is a space gray aluminum case 44 mm this is how you open it that's how the insides look that's the watch packaging this costs around 45,500 or uh, $600 or so so let's see what we get that's the watch designed by Apple in California some instructions that's the charging cable that's the magnetic charger that's how the watch looks these are the bands it's really smooth there is no waiting anymore everything works really fast You can see the stats on the watch or more detailed info on the phone. This is the noise level indicator. That's the amount of noise I'm making. That's the ECG. lots of interesting stuff these are all the watch faces some really interesting ones You can have this in so many designs. This has so much info on it. This one can be customized into any color or even any style this classic looking one even something cool like this And it's easy to get to last app quickly. You can always get to Siri quite easily. This is the watch face I use. Quite minimal. That's how the sensors look. That's the new blood oxygen sensor. It's 
kind of accurate. That's how it looks versus the old one. Even though it's similar sized, you get a bigger screen and a faster watch. That's how it looks when you wear it. This version has always on display. You can turn it off if you want. I still get one and a half days of battery. Really enjoying this new Apple Watch. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this honey. This is Manuka Active Honey. 100% Australian. Naturally bioactive. MGO 30 plus. Nice packaging. Manuka honey is one of nature's premium superfoods known for its delicious rich flavor and unique bioactive properties. Australia produces some of the most potent best tasting Manuka honey in the world due to our warm climate and number of leptosopimum varieties. Capilano Manuka honey is naturally rich in methyl gliosal or a MGO, the key component attributed to unique activity of the Manuka honey. Each batch is independently tested to guarantee its MGO levels. The higher the MGO number, the more potent the honey activity. Looks like this is made in Queensland, Australia. This costs around 1,650 rupees or a $21 or so, so quite pricey, so let's taste it. That's how it looks. That's how it looks. Let's taste it. That has a nice floral smell to it. You can definitely see the difference between this and regular honey. This feels much more richer and uh, flavorful. Quite nice. Check it out. These were some of the other products I reviewed on a day two in Singapore. Then went to the sea aquarium since I already saw it. My nephew went alone while waiting outside for him. I saw this interesting penny machine so made a video about it you give it cash and it gives you pressed penny for lunch we had this Japanese curry chicken found this in 7-eleven the price is in Singapore dollars then went to the second hotel called Hotel Mono. This was a design hotel. Everything in the hotel was either black or white. You get in using one door and get out using another one. That's how the room looked. A 
costs around 7,000 rupees or a hundred dollars or so. Plan was to increase the budget every day so that we can see what's on offer at different price points. After checking in, went to this Buddha temple. This time I discovered there was a museum too on the top floor. After that, went to the Maxwell Food Center. They had so many interesting dishes. Like this chicken dish. And this clay pot chicken rice. After that, returned to the hotel. Next to the hotel, found this Japanese snack. Oyage teyaki. It was a crunchy and delicious snack. Most of these videos were not pre-planned. I usually go to the place and try to eat the things that I find interesting and make a video about it. And in the room at night made this noodles video. The hotel didn't have any restaurants, so went out to have breakfast. Had this amazing egg dish and this delicious fried beans. After that, went to watch another movie. This time it was Avengers. That was it for a day to in Singapore. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this cereal. This is Cinnamon Toast Crunch from General Mills. Costs around 850 rupees or a 12 dollars or so. This is an imported one. We don't have this locally. One serving is around 170 calories. Quite a colorful packaging. Ingredients are a whole grain wheat, sugar, rice flour, canola oil, fructose, maldextrin, dextrose, salt, cinnamon, trisodium phosphate, soy lechon, caramel color, BHT added to preserve freshness and those are all the vitamins looks like this is made in Minneapolis USA that looks quite cute with real cinnamon in it they look excited so let's taste it Let's taste it. You get a nice crunchy, sweet, cinnamony flavor. There is quite a bit of cinnamon on it. I like cinnamon, so really love this. Has a unique flavor from other cereal. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this fragrance. This is Good Girl by Carolina Herrera, New York. It's so good to be bad. Comes in a elegant packaging. Manufactured in Barcelona, Spain. Costs around 7400 or a hundred dollars or so. So let's see what we get. The box has a velvety finish to it. I don't think I've seen that before. 
I have some instructions. That's how the bottle looks. It's a high heel shoe. Looks quite beautiful. I thought you would press this to get the spray. You actually press here. The fragrance notes are a tuber rose and a jasmine sandbag. So let's try it. That's a really nice floral smell. Quite strong too. Really beautiful bottle. Nice fragrance. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this candy. This is Coffee Break from Ravelcon. Beautiful packaging. Vegetarian product. Deliciously different. This costs around 50 rupees or uh, 80 cents or so. Manufactured in Nasik, Maharashtra, India. Ingredients are uh, sugar, liquid glucose, milk solids, edible vegetable fat, sorbitol, instant coffee, chicory mixture, emulsifier, anise salt and uh, antioxidants. You get 50 pieces of candy inside. This has 418 calories. So let's taste it. That's how the individual pack looks. That's how the candy looks. Let's taste it. It's a soft candy. You get a really nice coffee flavor. It tastes like a sweet cup of coffee. Nice and tasty. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at these soaps. This is virgin coconut oil soap from KLF Nirmal. These are handmade soap. Not tested on animals. Natural ingredients. Good for dry skin. No added color. Free from animal fat. Made using the finest virgin coconut oil. Manufactured in Kerala, India. Costs around 75 rupees or a dollar or so. Ingredients are a virgin coconut oil, lay, lavender oil, bergamot oil, ylang oil and a tube rose. So let's smell it. Looks like it comes with a plastic soap stand. That's how the stand looks. That's the soap. Let's smell it. It has quite a mild perfume which has a really nice smell to it. You also get that nice coconut smell. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this fruit and nut. These are from sapphire, almonds, hazelnuts, raisins covered with milk chocolate nice packaging these are slightly raised from the packaging 
these are manufactured in alwar rajasthan india costs around 200 rupees or a dollar and 50 cents ingredients are a sugar refined palm kernel fat milk solids raisins cocoa powder almonds hazelnut hazel paste edible glaze emulsifier fermented flavoring vanilla and vanilla fermented natural antioxidants this has 500 calories so let's taste it That's how much we get. These are either almonds or hazelnut. Let's taste it. That's a hazelnut one. That's quite tasty, not too sweet nice chocolate and the crunchy hazelnut goes with it really well let's try the raisin the raisins one was also really good quite tasty fruit and nuts quite nice check it out let's take a look at this candy this is Crazy Dips from Chupa Chups. It's a popping candy plus lollipop. Really colorful packaging. This is from Perfetti. Ingredients are sugar, glucose syrup, acids, citric acid, lactic acid, malic acid, flavorings, carbon dioxide, acidity regulators, sodium hydrogen carbonate, colors chamomile and beetroot this has 350 calories so let's taste it that's how it looks no idea why it's a foot I guess it has to be something crazy. So let's taste it. That's a strawberry lollipop. And that's the popping candy. The popping candy is also strawberry flavored. That's definitely crazy lollipop it's really fun to dip and eat it like this quite nice check it out